Hello, this is Bobby. Let's go panel TV repair today with uh, some hopefully helpful educational video concerning RCA uh, LED 65G 55R 120Q. Uh, there are actually several different TVs. Uh, this is a 65 inch El Cheapo LED from RCA and it came here starting up and uh, I'm trying to remember what exactly I was doing. It was coming on the, the front LED, the red LED on the lower left corner was turning on uh, but the TV itself was not or maybe at some point while experimenting the screen just flashed once real quick and then immediately went away the TV does not stay on uh, it, it just doesn't work. Now, chances are you may have a different main board inside. Chances are you may have this one. We've seen it in a different model. Uh, sorry, power board. The main board is the same sitting here. I don't really know where they put the label. And this is a model of a board or a manufacturing number or whatever it is. Uh, but you can have for power either RE. 46 HQ 2120 or you may have this one which is from a different manufacturer but the two of them are compatible and they do the same thing um, what the problem turned out to be neither the power board nor the main board nor the frame rate converter it turned out to be the LEDs and what we ended up doing was um, replacing the whole front panel this is the original panel of the TV here I'm going to talk about that in just a little I have two more minutes to talk before my video recorder runs out of memory so I'm going to be quick um, there are two circuits of LEDs on the front LED and they are accessible on the back through the cable that goes on the back of the LED uh, those are first circuit plus minus second circuit plus minus and they are responsible for two halves of the screen one powers the strips for the left side one powers the strips for the right side of the TV and they go in the power board and you should be able if you have a voltmeter to measure uh, where do they go to measure here if I believe one of them was staying up, one was down. What we ended up doing was just use a tester and I recommend everybody gets one of those. Uh, we got it from I don't know, eBay, I think I got it on Alibaba. Uh, and they're extremely helpful for testing LED strips. This is how we found that half of the panel was bad. What I want to tell you is I will probably be listing, we just got a brand new panel uh, how we got it, it's another story, but uh, we, we just ended up replacing the whole panel. And what I want to tell you is the, how to dismount the LCD because the, the TV because it's a little unusual. In many TVs, you have to, after you unscrew all the screws around the edge, uh, you have to flip it on its back and pull the front, the front bezel uh, and start dismantling from the LCD panel backwards. This one is does not work like that. You gotta lay it down, you will unscrew all the screws around it, you will unscrew everything. You will unscrew those uh, screws here, the ones that hold the panel here, here in the middle. You don't have to take out the T-cone. Uh, of course, you'll have to disconnect those cables. And then you will lift the whole thing up from here. The front bezel, the whole frame, with the LCD panel will remain laying on the table. And you will be picking up the backlight assembly panel along with the LEDs. This is how it comes out. And it detaches from this. And if you know that, that's going to save you potentially breaking the LCD if you try to do it the other way around. Uh, as most of the LCDs that I have seen, maybe starting 2014, 15, they do a, a lot of designs like that, but until now, in the past, anyhow, until 2014, this is the first model that I see that does that. Um, those strips are 
this is the one that was bad we've already taken it out and it's somewhere around here there it is let's get another tv this had several leds bad this one was bad this one was bad the best way to find out which ones you can do it with a multimeter uh, but this device is really really good and it's it's also cheap so you go and